ladies and gentlemen, welcome to week, uh, what is this, week three of us video. It's perfectly on time. Week four is coming out in two days because I've been busy and I, I honestly forgot. It was a mix of things. Uh, but we are here covering week three against the Alpine Autonos and Lucas. Um, uh, Lucas is a very good battler. We're going straight into it because I don't have a ton of time. Uh, and this is the best I can do for the matchup because the document has already updated for week four matchups and We're not quite there yet. So uh, As you can see there's our teams here. This is my first week with this with the uh, Suicune Star Raptor and Mega Altaria. This is the first week we were going to be without Hydreigon Mamo and then Mantine <clears throat> um, So as you can see on this team uh, we've got um, Mega Diancy, Zygarde, Magmortar, Serena, Scizor, Swampert, Volibee, Electros, Slowking, Galar, and Lickitung. Um, on his side, we're kind of worried of a few things. I'm not going to spend too much on team prep. I'm going to go look at our team, uh, what we brought, and this could be an important DM. Let me check real quickly. Uh, nope, not an important DM. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, so this is the matchup this week. Um, as you can see, we're... Here's the thing. I wasn't confident in this matchup, but as we prepped and did stuff, I got more and more confident, and then getting into the game, I felt really good about this game. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, as you can see here, we're pretty weak to Scizor. Scizor is actually the thing I'm most worried about. We have a really hard time with it, um, but we find ways around that. So let me go ahead and pull up. This is the team we brought. So, so first thing we brought was Little Mac, the Hitmonchan with Expert Belt Iron Fist Drain Punch. Uh, ice Punch, a Mach Punch, a Bullet Punch uh, with this EV spread. What this did was it allowed me to take out his big three um, offensively, which was the Weavile, um, Mega Diancy, and Zygarde. Uh, Diancy couldn't have a lot of bulk investment. If it did have bulk investment, it couldn't have a lot of attack investment because uh, a Ape is forcing it to run near max and speed boosting nature. Which was really cool, which meant uh, Bullet Punch always killed unless he wanted to sacrifice some attack power. Uh, Weavile all got smacked by Mach Punch, and then Zygarde died. Uh, I could trade a Arrows for a Ice Punch into Bullet Punch and kill the Zygarde. It also 1v1 to Mag Mortar, depending on my percentages uh, and whether or not Zygarde was shipped or not. Um, and. It actually did quite a bit to the, the opponent's team. It could take care of that Serena if it needed to, if things got dicey. Um, the real thing, I, only thing I really struggled against was that Lickitung. Um, uh, not Lickitung. It was the Slow King Galar. Uh, we really didn't have, we really didn't have a, a lot of switches for that, or a lot of, a lot of ways to handle that, which was kind of the thing I was worried about um, going into this. Uh, but because of that, we added on this Dugtrio, and our Bandit Dugtrio could. Um, take out the could it completely Oko. Um, oh my gosh, I hate myself. Could completely Oko the um, Galarian Slow King, which really made it easier for our uh, Hitmon Chance to really wreck house. A uh, mixed sort of a mixed AV um, Tangrowth here. Let me take on. Oh my gosh, I did it again. Let's take on the Zygarde Diancy. It was normally switching to the Diancy along with the Pert, uh, possibly knocking off the Volibee and the Serena, depending on whether or not it triple axle or not. And let's we knock off the Lickitung. Lost the Clef Key, Light Clay, Foul Play, Draining Kiss, Reflect, Light Screen. This let me switch into um, Weavile and a couple other things, I believe. Weavile, Serena, Swampert. So this was for Weavile, Ser Weavile Serena, Swampert. Foul, foul Play was for um, Scizor. Oh, no, no, not Swamper. I'm sorry. I meant Scizor. Uh, let's swap. Let me take on Scizor and that other thing. And then Draining Kiss, let me take on... Uh, because, obviously, Prankster doesn't work, I can paralyze it. Draining Kiss was for the Weavile. Reflect Screens. Both are just good this game. Um, for Little Mac and Medusa, really helping take care of uh, switching and stuff. Mega, Mega Altaria came. Earthquake, Body Slam, Flamethrower, Roost. This was just... Uh, this is good against everything on his team. Except for obviously the ones it wasn't, which is the Weavile, which is the um, the, the uh, Mega Diancy. This could take ban two banded um, arrows after rocks from Zygarde, and it could take care of Magmortar um, and Volibee, which is huge as well, and and Electros, which is huge as well. 
And then finally, we have what was really I was most excited for, which was Close Combat, a Blaze Shake, Mach Punch, U Turn, Banded, Inferno, this creeps everything that is below uh, Mega Dion C and hits like, everything extremely hard. Uh, Pert can't take two CCs. And again, this thing kind of struggles with the Slow King, but if we can remove it with uh, Doug Trio, Hitmonchan, and Ape, really go in this game. Um, so then. I load into the battle right, and I, I was feeling really nervous about this fight. Um, as far as battlers go, in, in Gallade, I'm one of the weaker ones. I'm probably the weakest one. Um, yeah, I am definitely the weakest, probably the weakest battler in Gallade, honestly. Um, and I really make up for that in prep. Unfortunately, Lucas is probably not only a goaded battler, but just way better in prep than I am. So going into this game. Uh, I thought I had all my corners checked. I was feeling pretty good actually. The my prep was I was kind of confident in my prep, and I'll be loading into the game and ooh, protagonist view. Where's the protagonist view? Um, then I see the matchup right, and I I see it. And I'm like I like this matchup a lot better now. I don't have to deal with the Weavile. Uh, what else? I don't have to deal with that stupid Lickitung. Uh, scissors there. I don't have to deal with the Magmortar. So I'm feeling pretty good. I I, I feel. Like, at the very least, I have a puncher's chance, right? At the very least, it's not like I've completely lost this game right away. Um, but that is it. Again, the Slow King is the biggest problem for us. So we go ahead and lead. I believe I lead my... Uh, Infernape. So I lead Infernape on this Vullaby. Vullaby gets hit to it, killed by two CCs after U-turn ship. So I decide to reveal Band right away and take the U-turn ship. So 24, not bad. I go into Altaria. Uh, on the air slash, I double into Doug Trio, uh, predicting the slow king because he really. If I started SDing up, I guess uh, no, not SDing. Hello. Um, if I started DDing, actually, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking that slow king came in right away. Um, I think he was pretty sure my Altari would be defensive, so I thought slow king would come in right away and I could just trap it uh, right off the bat. But he goes into. Electros, I gotta go into Clef Key and I'm gonna start getting my screens up. He knocks me off, which is annoying, but I'm still gonna get four turns of screens. And he U turns right into Soaking Geller. Now, I had thought I had all of my bases covered in prep, and I was fairly confident in my ability to win this game if I could remove this thing. Now, I am about to get 6 0'd next turn. I will lose the game on this turn. So here's what I'm thinking, right? So Doug Trio can come in right now, but I don't want to bring Doug Trio in right now because he's knocked off my item and he knows it's not lefties. Going for a Scald Burn here is completely fine by him. Like there's nothing wrong with going for a Scald right now. Um, if I switch into construction and I get burned, I will die. I take like 95 and then the 5% burn ship will kill me. Even if I didn't die and I got burned and I live the burn, I wouldn't be killing this thing anyway. So I cannot go, in my mind, I cannot go hard Doug Trio. Um, so Lost here is about to, I'm about to click light screen. I'm about to just like, get my second screen, uh, second screens up. And he is going to reveal Iron Defense. I literally, as I was playing this game, I said I lost. That was it, that was game. Because now, at this position, he's already a plus two. Doug Trio can, I believe, kill. Let me pull up some calcs here. Um, uh, let's look at some damage calcs. So, I believe he was... I don't think he was max, but he, he might have been max. So, let's go to blank. Uh, let's pull up just like max, max, bold, and then Doug Trio, uh, which was... Voice banded, and I believe we were adamant. No, we were jolly. All right, well, it doesn't matter. So max, max. Um, I was still doing quite a bit. You can see on this calc here, seventy-one to ninety-three percent. If he was max, max bold, um, which I don't think he was, honestly. But anyway, either way, uh, now at plus two, even if he's not bold, I'm doing forty-two to fifty percent, which is not atrocious it's not great but uh ape is also banded and we do have u-turn so we have that going for us at least 
But right here, I'm running out of weaves to win the game right away, and I'm... I literally said in my mind, I've lost the game, there's no way I can win. Because, as soon as he reveals Iron Defense, I automatically know his spread. Um, as you can see, slight error by me, we don't have a Dark type. Which means, the moment he reveals Iron Defense, I can see it coming already. It's Iron D, Slack Off, Calm Mind, Sword Power. I lose, that's game. So I got my layer of screens up on his um, Iron D, and I immediately doubled into Doug Trio. I'm like, I can't let this happen. I'm fishing for crits. That's my win con at this point. So if I crit here, I win. Okay. Actually, let me rephrase. This is a, is a really risky move by... Not, not, not risky by Lucas, but it could have gone very badly. Because... Uh, let me explain the levity of this situation. Right now, out of his entire team, he completely gets spanked if he loses this mon by Chan, Doug Trio, and Ape. Like, completely spanked. Um, Dougie, every time, this, this Deancey is not a big threat while Doug Trio is around because every time Deancey takes a kill, Dougie comes in and, and revenges, and all of a sudden, um, there's nothing there. And if I want to ta uh, let Tango die just so that I can sack off uh, on the Deancey and then bring Dougie in, I'm, I, I can, I'm in a great spot. Uh, other than that, even with that, Hitmonchan Ape completely run through his team. Like, completely run through his team. Ape CC, 2 it KOs, pretty much everything. No. S Ape CC, 2 it KOs, everything on his team once this is gone. Literally, he has no switches to Ape CC. His best move is to revenge with Diancy, in which case, if I want to let something die, I can, and then I can go into Dougie and claim the kill. Like, that. that's, that's what's going on here. That's how... This game could really be won or lost right here by both of us. So first one fires off, no crit. Um, he iron dies again. I'm like, there's no way anymore. Like, there's just no way. Uh, oh, I think we can learn his spread. So if we go to plus four, I don't think it was bold because I just 37. Yeah, yeah. There's no way he was max and bold. Yeah, yeah. So this game comes in. He calms minds now, and that was really risky. I would have uh, slack. I would have attacked by then already. I mean, I could be whatever, but he just slacks off here. The really only risk he's running is getting crit. If I crit, I very well can. Oh my gosh. I hate ads. And then, yeah. And that's just game. So as soon as he go ahead and it takes my Doug Trio, uh, I say in the chat, GG, because that is game. I go into Ape to fish for possibly another crit, but of course it doesn't happen. I do 6%. Wouldn't have killed with a crit. And I am going to proceed and get 6 0 right here. And it's really sad because... Um, yeah, but like, if... Had I crit... I mean, obviously, the, the best way to win this, to be not in this situation, is to have a dark type. But I, once that thing... Once this thing was in against a matchup that didn't kill it, he won. Like, that's just it. Like, there's nothing I could do. Once the Slow King is in against something that can't Oko, I lose, because he gets the free iron, he gets the free iron D, and then I can't, uh, I need a crit from that point on. Um, so everything's just gonna come here and get completely wiped. As I said, I could have gone hard Dougie on the plus two. Um, had we gone hard Dougie on the plus two, I mean, we would have been doing 50, about, as you can see here, depending. I don't think he was max, I was gonna say like he was 180 something, 188. This is what we would have been doing if I went hard on the iron defense. This is it. Then next turn, if he ironed it again, I mean, I could have won the engagement. But again, it's all if this, it's all like theory crafting at this point. Um, but had I gotten rid of this thing, ape and Tran, ape and uh, Chan really could have gone in. The calm mind, I don't think mattered. I guess. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. He's just stacking it at this point. I can't heal, and he just takes the game. Um, so that really sucked for us, because uh, I definitely thought we could have won this game. But at the end, after that irony happened, there there was there was nothing for me to do. I mean, in prep, there isn't even like, oh, I, you know, could have brought a dark type. But, and I, I, I even counterplay, I would need to know this exact set, and I just completely missed it in prep. 
didn't consider it. I'm used to having a dark type. Not sure why I don't. Uh, it's because I dropped the Hydra. But that's just how it, that's just how it went down, and it was really sad. Um, uh, we did we did make a change in our team. We did do that because I was like, we can't have that happen again. So as you can see right now, we're 13th. Um, we're not facing relegation quite yet, but it's not looking good, boys. We need to be top eight for playoffs, which is still totally possible. Um, if we win out, that's six and two. That's a good record. Um, and we have some winnable games coming up for sure. Uh, and by winnable, I mean like, I, I, I definitely think it's possible for us to win. I mean, it's gonna be hard, but we can definitely pull it out. And I'm, I'm gonna really try hard to, to win this thing. No one is locked yet. Even if, I believe even if um, Lucat and Lucas really have a hard rest of the season, they could fall out even, but I'm not sure yet. Next week, if they win, they'll have playoff, playoffs. Not locked, but at, uh, you know, they're really close to playoffs right now. Um, but we do have, what we did is we dropped Hitmon Lee for Skunk Tank, which gave us the dark and didn't let us sacrifice any of our removal. Uh, this is the matchup for next week. I'm going to go over it in Saturday's video if I, like, have the ability to make it on Saturday. I have stuff going on on Saturday, but I'm playing Saturday. But yeah, that is unfortunately it. Uh, our, our kill leader is still Tangrowth, which is awesome. But yeah, a uh, really rough week. We made the changes we could, and we just gotta help. We just gotta hope that we can keep winning. If you look at our schedule here, um, we play HGC Saturday. Not HGC is uh, obviously like I said, he's a better battler than I am, and his matchup I think is amazing against me. Uh, but I think it's a winnable game. Jiggly Pigs, I don't know who that is, dude. I think he's a replacement coach. I reckon someone dropped, and I just I'm not sure who. Detroit Fletchlings, this guy's, yeah, who, who, who was this, I don't know, tripping, but yeah, this is him, good team, oh, it's Rain, yeah, that sucks for me, well, I think we can beat the Rain team, like, I, I'm not, not, not like, I'm not trying to be a brag or anything, but, I think at least in all these games we have at least have a chance, right? Like I'm not saying we're gonna win, we're gonna lose. We have a chance. Azarine, that's a tough week. I don't know if we win that one. We can definitely beat Kurama, and I guarantee you we will lose to Amarillo just because of who I am. But yeah, definitely still a, a, a season we can clutch out. Um, hopefully we can keep winning, and uh, that is it for me today. Goodbye, God bless, and have a great day.